Hi, I'm Sean with SparkFun Electronics. On Monday, the Raspberry Pi Foundation released a new revision of the Model B. This would be the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. This isn't so much a new version, but the foundation likes to consider this the final form of the Model B. So in all speculation, we might see a new version in the near future. So let's take a look at what's in the box. As we're unboxing it here, you'll notice that the first thing is the box itself seems to have a brand new set of colors on it. We'll take it out of the ESD bag in here and take a look at what's new. The first thing you'll notice is that we now have four USB ports. There's no more running out of ports when you're plugging stuff in. So you can keep a keyboard, a mouse, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, anything else you see. You'll also notice that there's a lot more GPIO down the side here. The first 26 pins are in the exact same configuration as the Model B, but the Model B Plus added 14 more. Keep in mind that two of them are reserved for an ID EEPROM chip. This is to possibly identify and automatically configure new expansion boards in the future, so we'll see how the Raspberry Pi uses those. There is no more giant yellow video composite jack. It's now integrated with the audio jack here. So I'm thinking that you might need a special cable in order to get video out of that. Apparently, there is a low noise power supply dedicated to providing better audio for the audio out on this guy. You'll notice that there are no two mounting holes in the center anymore. They've moved them to the outer corners. That provides for four mounting points. So if you're trying to mount the Raspberry Pi to something, it's a much more secure connection. You'll also notice that they don't have any connectors along these two sides anymore. What that means is when you're plugging in cables to the Raspberry Pi, you're not gonna have a Raspberry Pi octopus of cables coming off in all directions. Let's flip it over. You'll see that there's not one large SD card slot anymore. There's just a micro SD card slot. What that means is that you now need to use micro SD cards, but you don't have a giant SD card sticking off the side here anymore. It's just a little bitty card, which is quite nice because that made for some very unsightly Raspberry Pi configurations. Now, if you look closely at the CPU, this Broadcom chip is the same one used on the Model B. It's the same 700 megahertz, and it's got the same 512 megabytes of RAM. But according to the Raspberry Pi Foundation, they've managed to reduce power consumption on the Raspberry Pi by one half to one watt, which is quite an improvement. Here's a Model B to compare. As you'll notice that the composite and the audio have been moved, there is no large SD slot down here, and there's a lot more GPI over here. Also, the biggest improvement is definitely the USB. There is two extras on this side. If you followed along with my three-part getting started with Raspberry Pi videos, you'll notice that we did this with the Model B. Unfortunately, you cannot just pull out the SD card from the Model B and plug it into the B+. You need to update your Linux image to Raspbian, which was built in June 2014 or later, and this can be downloaded on the raspberrypi.org site. The good news is that the CPU and the pins stayed the same between the B and the B+, so we can just redo all the steps from the Getting Started videos once we've built to the new version of Raspbian. Once we've done that, we can then change the card between the B and the B+, and it'll work on both. We upgraded to the new version of Raspbian and went through the process of creating the final project, which is the Tweeting Temperature Monitor. You can see it here running on the Model B+. You might be asking yourself, should I buy the Model B+. It's got the same price as the Model B, so they're both really cheap. It's got the same CPU and RAM, so if you're finding yourself running out of power in the Model B, don't get the upgrade. That being said, it does have more USB, more GPIO, so if you're running out of pins and ports on the Model B, go for the upgrade. If you have not had the chance to play with single board computers, or specifically the Raspberry Pi, now's a good time to try. They're easy to set up, easy to use, and check out my three-part Getting Started with Raspberry Pi videos, which will work with the Model B+. Thanks for watching.